Welcome to Channel Today in History, in today's video we will talk about the day. August 21, 1934, Adolf Hitler, President of the National Socialist Party. In January 1919, the railway mechanic Anton Drexler founded in Munich, with Gottfried Feder, Dietrich Eckhart, Alfred Rosenberg, Hermann Esser and Karl Harrer, the German Workers' Party, Deutsche Arbeiter Partei, as one of the ultranationalist movements that were born in Bavaria, in southern Germany, due to the German defeat in World War I. The German Army's intelligence service sent the young Corporal Adolf Hitler to investigate the activities of that party. On September 16, 1919, Hitler attended a meeting and, due to his talents as an orator, was invited to join the movement, although he later claimed to be the number seven member of the party to make believe that had been one of its founders. In fact, he was the seventh member of the Central Committee and responsible for the propaganda. During his administration, the members of the party began to be counted, and the account was started in 500, to appear more associated, although, according to a Nazi publication of the time, in 1919 the party had only 64 members. In February 1920, the first party rally was held in Munich, at the request of Hitler, who read the 25-point program of the organization, written by him and Drexler, which intended, by mixing anti-liberalism, pan-Germanism and anti-Semitism, to convince the proletariat about the nationalist cause. These points constituted the dogmatic program of Nazism and were never changed. At that same assembly, it was decided to change the name of the movement, which was renamed the German National Socialist Workers' Party, whose acronym in German is NSDAP. In 1921, Hitler was its top leader, and his oratory was considered the main reason for the growth of the party which in 1923 already had 50,000 members. After leading the failed coup d'état on November 9, 1923 in Munich, the Nazis participated in elections in the 1920s, having their votes considerably increased, they became the second largest party in the Reichstag. In the 1932 parliamentary elections, the Nazis obtained 13.57 million votes and became the most voted bloc in parliament. After forging an alliance with the Catholic Center and the Nationalists in parliament, Hitler was appointed chancellor by President Hindenburg in January 1933. Immediately, new parliamentary elections were held, and the Nazis and their nationalist allies won a majority, which they used to approve the Grant of Full Powers Act of 1933, designed to place absolute power in Hitler's hands by prescribing or cancelling other parties and prohibiting the formation of new ones so that the NSDAP became the only political party. They named the SA as the regime's armed wing and the SS as an auxiliary SA body, in addition to creating the secret police of the state, Gestapo. On August 21, 1934, Adolf Hitler assumed the presidency of the NSDAP and, on the death of Hindenburg, appointed himself Führer, Chief Chief and eliminated opponents of his own party and collaborators of dubious allegiance during the Night of the Long Knives, which began the process of total elimination of various racial, political, social and religious groups that it considered enemies of Germany and unclean races. It continued with the opening of concentration and extermination camps for the systematic liquidation of communists, Jews, Jehovah's Witnesses, Gypsies, the mentally ill and homosexuals. Did you like the video? In the description you will find the blog link with the full article, give an incentive by subscribing to the channel, liking, commenting and sharing with your friends, hugs. Until the next.